We are here today with Professor Wolfgang Kettler, winner of the Nobel Prize 2001 for Physics. Professor Kettler, we would like to ask you something about your work. You do a very complicated research in a topic, in a field, which is not very understood by normal people, by politicians, journalists uh, and citizens. Uh, what kind of words do you use to convince them that your work is worth being supported and financed? Well, the work I'm doing here and which is also done here in Trento by Professor Stringari's center is the study of new materials. And actually the basic message is not so complicated. In our experiments we cool matter to very low temperatures. And if you cool matter to very low temperatures you can find new forms of matter which do not exist at higher temperatures. A simple example is water. When you cool down water, it freezes and you find something new, namely ice. And that's what we do at much, much lower temperatures. How much has the Nobel Prize helped you to make your wor work known in a wider public? The Nobel Prize helps a lot because it puts a spotlight on your research and more people are interested to find out why did I get the Nobel Prize. So it offers opportunities to explain the research I'm doing to uh, a broader range of people. Apart from the Nobel Prize, do you think the researchers should make a wider effort to involve people in understanding what they are studying? Uh, definitely yes, but of course it's also a two-way street. We need uh, the public being interested, being interested in reading articles in popular journals or coming to popular talks. I think a lot of scientists reach out to the public by writing those articles, but I think more can be done on both sides. Okay, regarding your work in physics, you achieved a very high goal. What is your next step? What are you working at? My group is currently working on studying novel materials. I got the Nobel Prize for the co-discovery of a new form of matter which showed uh, the special property of superfluidity. And now my group is working on understanding materials which show unusual magnetic properties. So research is sort of an endless story and if you're curious about the world, you find again and again very, very interesting and exciting things to study. It's not the first time that you came here in Trento. You are getting a sort of a friend of us and our researcher. What do you think about the research that he is leading here in Trento at the Faculty of Science? Oh, the University of Trento is really the leader in the theory of ultra-cold atoms. So over the last 15 years I had many exchanges. Uh, there were some theoretical perk work here done at Trento which stimulated and motivated my experimental studies and vice versa. So it's wonderful to be here and have discussions with the researchers here at all levels.